Hello and welcome to the quick tour of 2020 Design version 10. This is a short tour of 2020 and how it will help you and your business design faster, more accurately, and close more sales. Let's start with what your client is interested in. I like to start with the renderings and the perspectives because this is what grabs their attention and helps close that sale for you. And as you can see by this example of a rendering, 2020 gives you the ability to apply textures, whether it's wood graining, in this case cherry or door styles, or applying textures to the floor like bamboo, or even applying textures to the countertops, granite, and solid surface. We can place hardware, accessories around the room, and even place sunlight outside of the windows. We have control of the sun and you can move it up and down and shadow the room appropriately. You can control the overall uh, lighting schemes and even be able to control the shadowing in the room. It's the little things like the shadowing that you see here from the plant in the window that really make the difference in the drawings. Not only are the drawings great, but they're easy to navigate. When you're working with a client, all you have to do is hold the left button down on your mouse, and that gives you the ability to move up and down, to move right and left. You have the ability to clip items from the plan, to zoom in, zoom out, apply textures, and even make changes directly from the plan. Once you've stopped moving, if you give it a second, it'll go back and re-clarify the image to give you that nice, clean, crisp image again, the one that you need to close the sale. Now the image that you're looking at is actually based on a plan that I have live on my screen. This is an overall room. You can see that it includes walls and cabinets and appliances. The circles are lights. Uh, here's our plant. Um, you have the ability to control the background. You can draw as many walls as you want and you can get right down to the detail of controlling the size of the font and colors of your dimensions. Now the plan that you're looking at is one that I drew from scratch. I'm going to show you a quick example of where you would choose walls from in just a moment. But you do have the ability to import and export this as well. If you were working with a client, maybe you're working with an architect or a, a builder, or maybe you have AutoCAD in-house and you want to import an entire floor plan. You can always go over to File and there's an Import feature right here that allows you to import right from AutoCAD. You can also import from CADsoft and once you've laid out the room, placed your cabinets, all of your appliances, you can export back to AutoCAD or back to CADsoft so that the people or the clients that you're working with can get the full rendering, full working rendering that you've completed. That bi-directional communication with clients outside of consumers will certainly open up other avenues of business for you. Now, to look at how easy it is to draw or to, to add plans like we're looking at right here, let me give you a quick overview of where the features are. If I go up and I start a brand new plan, start with a fresh piece of paper, all I need to do is go to the Room Layout ribbon and choose Continuous. Continuous allows you to point a direction and simply type. You'll see right here, here are your dimensions. All I have to do is point up and type. I can say 144, Enter. I can draw to the right, 156, enter. If I want the next wall to point up, I can just type in the length. Matter of fact, I can take the mouse and point any direction that I want and have the walls follow. There's no limit to the number of your walls. You're accurate up to a sixteenth of an inch, and you can use both fractions and decimals. Once you've finished drawing your plan, all you have to do is double click to center it, and now you're ready to start placing your items. All of your items can be found from this drag and drop menu right here. Drag and drop is basically an area where you would store your catalogs. It's like a spec book shelf in your office. You reach up to the shelf, you grab hold of the spec book, you drop it to the desk and open it up and start looking for product. 2020 comes loaded with a, a number of generic catalogs. Everything from stock cabinets to custom cabinets, from frame to frameless, from metric to inches. You can even place uh, generic appliances, generic countertops. Uh, you saw my drawing before, plants and coffee makers and everything else. You have all the generic items so that if you are an independent designer, you're an interior designer and you don't want to be tied to any specific brand, you have all the catalogs you need to be able to complete those drawings. If you wanted to drag something over, all you need to do is choose the catalog. In this case, I chose a sample catalog and simply scroll through the list of your products. I'm just going through categories and saying I'd like to have a base 30. I can grab hold of it, drag it over, drop it into place. It snaps right into place. If I wanted to do a quick search, I can click DB18. I could drag a drawer base 18 over, drag and drop it. 
Now, if you're working in a brand specific catalog, the nomenclature that you're looking at would be their nomenclature. If you wanted to sell brand specific habits or show brand specific appliances, you would need to contact the manufacturers and as long as you're an authorized dealer for the cabinet company, you can actually download those catalogs and use them in your drawing. When you do download a catalog that's brand specific, it not only shows you the cabinet, it shows you the product. Let me right click on one here and go into its attributes. But it also includes pricing. So the door styles available, um, the price levels available, all of that's included in the catalog. Here's an example of our cabinet and then we can go through and add ons, base modifications. Let's say we put a, a door on the right hand side of that cabinet. Quick idea of how you can make modifications from angled splays to changing the size of a cabinet to adding accessories to it. All of that can be done in real time. And again, if you're working with a brand specific catalog, it's tied directly to that catalog. For those of you who wish to expand your universe and use um, a bigger vault of shapes, well, 2020 also links to AutoCAD or links to Google SketchUp files. So if we go into our items area and choose Google SketchUp and go right into the Google warehouse, you now have access to all the millions or hundreds of millions of shapes that are out there in the, uh, out there in the world. I could type in something like kitchen chair. And when I typed in kitchen chair and clicked OK, this will give me a list of the kitchen chairs that are available. Not only can I choose from a library outside of 2020 and import it, I'm going to do one live right in front of you right now. We'll choose from Google SketchUp 7 and import this chair. Not only can I do that, but if I place this chair in the middle of the room, I have the ability to right click on it, go into attributes, and I can change the chair too. I can take that chair and change the wood species. I could zoom in and change the pattern on the fabric. All I need to do is click on the fabric. We'll go into a 2020 fabric, or you can import your own fabrics if you like. We can choose the Alpha Vision in this case. I'll choose the uh, beige and black checkers. Click OK. And watch how my chair's changed. I can zoom in. The chair's been changed. I can click OK. That chair is now on my drawing. If you would like to use that chair, you'd like to save it and use it again in the future. Well, 2020 also gives you the ability to create your own libraries. I was just showing you generic catalogs and talking about brand specific catalogs. Well, you can also create your own catalogs. You'll see here in my list that I have catalogs like closets and full kitchens and kitchen islands. You could create a Google catalog, an AutoCAD catalog, um, a specialty piece, a custom piece catalog, and every time you drop something on the plan, all you need to do is literally drag this shape over, drop it into that catalog, and it would drop right into the catalog. So if I went down right now, and I clicked on Kitchen Islands, and I dragged this over and went to drop it, it would not only snap it in, but it would also allow me to create a profile and give a name to it. So now I'm leveraging my work to be used again in the future. We talked a little bit about renderings before. All of your renderings are under presentations. You'll see that I have a perspective, front view, top view, isometric. I even have the ability to show multiple views on a single page. And I can take the images and I can send to what we call room viewer. Room viewers are a really interesting feature built in standard to every 2020 catalog. This allows you to take the image that I just created. You just saw me create this image live. With a click of the button, it actually took that image, it uploaded it into the cloud, and now I can click continue and actually share a link to this image with my client. So if my client's at lunch right now, maybe they're in another state, and I want to share, show them an update to their room, I can actually load this into a file on the cloud, and they can sit in their office right now and do exactly what I'm doing. They can rotate it, they can zoom in and out, and they can actually see their plan in a real view. Real view. Now my image right now, you see the blocks and walls, I haven't added any textures like I did in my original one, but I can always go in and add my textures and my client can see that. So I'm no longer limited to making changes and waiting for my client to come to my office this evening or next Saturday. I can actually engage my client the way they or he or she wants to be engaged today. They want to be able to meet me face to face, they want to be able to see my products and so forth, but in the design and the project process, they really want to keep this moving and be able to take care of these little features on a day to day by virtually meeting with me. 2020 is ahead of the curve, has that built into the system standard. Let's go ahead and click cancel, we'll come back out. 
You also have the ability in your 2020 to go in and click on reports. Reports would allow you to create quotes, item lists. You can even take the list prices and put your cost and sell and show your, multiple, your customer what they're making and put your cost multiplier in and show what your, customer, your company is actually making from that project. You have installation reports and contracts and many of these reports are exportable to other programs including Microsoft Excel. If you wanted to take this to the next step, all 2020 systems have a built-in uh, feature called Live Order. If I move over to Live Order for just a moment, Live Order is a system that is online in the cloud where anytime you work with a kitchen, you can click order and actually send it into a folder where you can track, validate your kitchen, and with many of your manufacturers, order it directly online. Some of your manufacturers will allow you to order via email, via fax. Well, that's simple. You just click the button and send it to their fax or to their email. But other manufacturers in the industry will allow you to order online where it goes right into their manufacturing system. Well, the live order system allows you to create projects, view your projects, and even track your projects in the process. Again, built into every 2020 Live. Let's come back into the plan view here again just for a moment. And I want to talk real quick about the floor plan, about some editing. You have the ability to control what you see on the screen. And if I go back over to my original plan, I want you to notice that you have multiple views available at the click of a button. At the bottom of your screen, you have tabs. You have all and all, no cabinets and countertops. If I only wanted to see countertops, I can left click and only see countertops. It tells me splash A, splash B, it'll show me what type of edge I have in overall dimensions. So if I wanna click a button and send this to my fabricator, I can do that right now just by clicking print or clicking and print to a PDF and email. I can even go in and set up legends where instead of placing item labels in every cabinet, it makes a list on the right hand side and numbers all of my cabinets appropriately. You have the ability to edit and modify the screens to set it up exactly the way you want. One last item before we go back and look at that rendering. At the top of your screen I want you to notice the 2020 technologies is using the latest when it comes to um, state-of-the-art interfaces for programs. We're using the Windows ribbon system where you can simply click a subject area and you see the nice, large, easy to understand icons at the very top. And having the ribbon system at the very top also gives you a much larger space for you to work and build your plans. One of my favorite features that's built into this area is this toolbar right here. It's called the Quick Access Toolbar. This is where I put all of my favorite features. So if I wanted to create a rendering or save, there's simply one clicks to make those changes. Now let's go back over to our full view for just a moment here. Oops, let me go back again to my full view. I wanted to mention again, really what your client's looking for is this end result. You have the ability to overlay textures and floors and ceilings, control the sunlight, control lighting, add the type of door style, the finish, everything you want in this plan, and really work to provide your customer everything you need to close that project. Now I want to thank you for taking the time to review the quick tour of 2020 Design V10. We look forward to you utilizing our applications to improve your business and close more sales.